Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful danshiki bubu top you are seeing right here with front slit and placket as you can see right here and side slits as well. So this bubu danshiki is really trending and i'll be showing you or teaching you the tips and tricks to achieving this exactly the way it is right there on the video and on the thumbnail so if this is what you want to learn i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn how to sew this danshiki top okay thank you very much for joining simrai fashion academy please kindly subscribe as well and like this video and share to family and family. this tutorial, you will be needing two yards of Ankara print. So what I have here is two yards. And I placed it on two equal folds. So when I place it on two equal folds, I have this on fold. That is one yard, one yard. That is two yards. So I'm going to also place it on another fold. So I'm going to bring in the one I have here. I'll come over here and place it on another fold. So what I'm showing here is the Danshiki with strip design, front strip design on the thumbnail. So this is it. So we are going to construct the neckline. So here I have both my center back and my center front color so now i'll go ahead to impute my necessary allowances of course for this dress we don't need too much to do so the only thing i'm going to impute here is going to be my uh, sleeve measurement which i always like to go from the um, sleeve top that is from the shoulder to 12 inches for my danshiki or for my booboo so i just mark the 12 inches for the sleeve then i'm going to mark my hip at 29 inches so my hip is 29 so whatever your hip is please measure that so like i said the full length is at 36 so i'm going to impute what I have on the bust area or we'll go over to the hip and take the hip measurement so my hip measurement is 48 divided by 4 you can see me measuring 12 inches right there so this is a danshiki and it's really a very very free dress I love to go with 4 inches for dresses like this so I'll add 4 inches so from this measurement of 4 inches to here I have 16 I'll come over on the bust area. I will measure 16 and mark. So I will connect this with a straight line. I'll go ahead and connect this with a straight line. So I'll connect it into the sleeve. This is the sleeve, okay? So here, I'll go ahead and create the sleeve curve for the than shiki dress now you see that so once i've connected this i'll move this into the sleeve uh, into the hem so i'm going to have it into the hem right now so after that the next i will have to do is the neckline so the neckline i'm using for this dress is three and a half i'll mark and the neck, neck width we'll be using will be one inch. So this neck width, I'll connect it, the normal back neck width. You can see how I connected it. Now for the front, we are going to go by nine inches. So I'll just mark my nine inches. So at this point, because we have, we are going to have a placket, and on the down part, we are going to have a strip with slits. I'm going to mark two, two inches from this nine inches neckline. 
I'll mark two inches, okay? Then that two inches, I'll connect it to the neckline like this. Then I'll mark the two two inches from this point to the end of this dress. So I'll go ahead and mark the two two inches to the end of the dress. So I'll keep it on a straight course like this. And then all the way down. So that is how we are going to cut it. So make sure that what you have here is at two inches before you connect to the front neckline. So we are done with this dress. The next thing we are going to do is to cut out the dress. So actually, this does not have a slant. But if you want to slant it, there's no problem. But I'm working with it on fold like this. So I'm going to cut the, um, the neckline right now. We are going to cut the back. Then cut the sleeve to the end. Then I'll show you how to cut out the part we marked. So now we are going to cut out the back neckline first. Okay. So I'll go ahead and cut out my back neckline so after that is done i'll come over to the side to cut out the sides all right so the next thing i'll do is to place notches at the shoulder line okay where we are supposed to have uh, our shoulder line i place notch at that point so i'll lift up the upper one and pick up the two inner dresses just open it up like this so we'll be able to cut out the front neckline so once you have arranged it, this is the back part and this is the front piece. So at this front piece of my neckline, I'm going to follow the neckline I marked from that three and a half to the two inches point. So just follow your chalk line and cut out what you have as you can see. Can you see? So that becomes our neckline. So I'm going to take the measurement of what we have on the neckline, starting from the center back. So don't forget to also make a notch at your center back like this. So I'll go ahead to take my measurement for my strip from that center back. I'll take it this way. Then I'll take it all the way to this point. So here, I'll take it all the way till I get to the hem. So here I have 41. So my strip is going to be 41 times 2, which will give us about 82 inches length. So I want you to also take note of this measurement because one will be constructing this strip who we'll make use of it so i want you to also take the measurement of the back neckline you can see how i'm taking it from there to where we connected the nine inches so here i have 14 inches from here i have 14 inches so take note of here from here as 14 inches we'll be making use of it but the whole length we measured from here to the end gave us 41 inches times 2. So I'll go ahead and cut out my strip right now because we are going to sew the strip right away. Here I have cut out the strip which I measured at 41 inches. So you can see I have my strip on fold and I also have stayed it. So the width of my strip. Uh, strip is six inches and the length of my strip from the fold is 41 inches so i added some inches to the 41 inches 
I added two inches to it, okay? So if I have an excess at the end of the day, I'll just cut it off. So I'll place my tape right here. Remember the measurement I told you to take at 14 inches. Do you remember the neckline? I told you to measure and take note of. So this is where I took the measurement. I took it on this and I asked you to take note of it. If you remember. So the measurement was taken from here to this point. From here, center front to this point. I believe you remember. So that 14 inches, I'm going to mark it right now as my fabric is on fold right here. You can see how I placed it right side to right side. So from the folded edge, I'm going to measure the 14 inches. And this is it. So I'll just make a mark to it. And on that line, I'll find the midpoint of these 14 inches. Of these um, 6 inches. So this is my midpoint. So from this point, I'm going to measure another 13 inches. So if I measure my 13 inches, I'll also find the midpoint. So this is going to serve as the, oh, let me take 14 inches, uh, 13 inches is too much for what I want to construct. So let us do with 12 inches, then find the midpoint of 12 inches. This is the midpoint. So I'll go ahead and connect this midpoint. You connect this midpoint to this point. So I'll go back to my machine now. I'm going to stitch from here to here. That is where we are going to have our plaquettes, okay? So let me quickly do that. Here I've stitched from the point of 14 inches to the 12 inches, as you can see. So these are my stitches. So here is my neckline. I'll simply go ahead and fold the neckline. Can you see that? So this is where the neckline will pass. And then I'll pick up the parts I have here. And this is going to be the slit for the dashiki parts. So here is our neckline and the placket is going to sit right in between here. So I'll go back to the machine now. I'm going to make a notch first. So I will give it a good press first. I'm going to give it a good press so everything relaxes nice and flat. So I'll place it like this on my ironing table and press it down. After that, I'm going to create my notch at this point. So don't forget to create your notch because that is where we are going to sew at the neckline. So let me iron it out then we'll sew. The so after ironing it this is what you are going to have so this part is going to be the collar here is going to be the slit and our placket will sit right in between here so i'll bring in the dress i'll go over to my machine i'm going to sew the collar so make sure you have your notch at the center back and your notch on the collar so I'll just match it up, go ahead and sew this round. Let me do that. Sewing the collar. This is what you are going to have. And this is where we'll have the slit. So like I said, it's better you have an excess on the strip than you have a shortage. So I'll simply go ahead and level the strip. Just cut it to the length of the Danshiki dress. Can you see that? So make sure they are equal. So I'm just trying to be sure everything is equal. So if it's not equal, you can go ahead and level it a little bit. So I think they are equal right now. Okay. So I'm going to construct the placket. So for the placket right now, we are going to make use of the length of what we have from here to here. Remember, we took the measurement. 
from this point i'll just retake the length from here to here so here i have it at 12 inches so i'll come in with my placket so i have a rectangular a fabric which i'll use as my placket right now so this rectangular um, is 14 by 17 so make sure you hasten it as well so i'm going to place it on fold secure with my pins then we, we are going to use it to construct the placket so for the width of the placket i'm using this part the shorter part for the width of the placket so the from this center line i'm going to measure my i'm going to use my nipple to nipple measurements so this is my center front so my nipple to nipple measurements um divide by two is four inches so i'll go ahead and add two inches to it so whatever your nipple nipple uh, to measurement divide by two is just simply add two inches so all all of here i have six inches so this this includes the the hemming allowance as well so from here i'm going to simply take that 12 inches which is the length and i'll add one inch for hemming the up and the down which is 13 inches so this 13 inches length i'll mark it and then on this point i'll also take the measurement of what i have here six inches i'll take it back here six inches so this is the center front so from here i will or from here just simply come up by five inches then connect that what you have on that five inches uh, from sorry from here at the end of it that's where we are supposed to connect to the center front so just come up by five inches so on this five inches line measure your six inches again so this is it and connect with a straight line first you connect with a straight line and then we will now finally connect to this so but instead of coming up by five inches i don't want it to be too sharp just come up by four inches four inches is okay then you connect it i don't want it to be that sharp so we'll just connect it right there and we formed the placket so the placket can be any design of your choice but what we have right there on the thumbnail i think this is okay for this particular design so i'll go ahead and cut out what i have right here everything including the seam so this is what i have as my shape so i'll go in to the ironing table with my hemming gum so this is what i'm going to do i'll just cut out my hemming gum this way i'll place it like this and i'll fold in 0 0.5 so i'll just keep folding them that way after that i'll come in with this i'll also fold in with my hemming gum after that i'll repeat the same thing like this. i'm done ironing and this is what i have i folded in all the edges so now i'll bring back my fabric right now so i'm going to lay lay it open so simply open up the front side only the front side and you bring this put it together to find the midpoint. 
So here is my midpoint. I'll pick it up and place right at this edge. Can you see? So make sure you arrange it the way it should be before you go ahead and stitch. So I'll go ahead and secure with my pins all around. Then I'll go over to the machine. I'm going to follow the stitches. I'm going to stitch this way, top stitch, according to the shape. Okay, so let me. So now I'm done with the plackets, and you can see I've stitched it all around. So the next thing I'm going to do is to sew the sides of this dress. So I'll just put it together and I'm going to sew. So I'll sew each side of it right now. So as I'm sewing, I'll go from the sleeve this way and I'll stop because we have a slit. So this slit, I'm going to ensure it matches with what I have from here to here. So to determine how much slit you are going to where you are going to stop, I'll just go ahead and measure what I have on the center slit, which is 14. I'll go from the hem and measure 14 for each side. So I'm going to measure 14 for each side. So once I stitch up to 14, I'll back stitch. So I'll just make the mark. Once I stitch up to 14, I'll back stitch and leave this slit. So I'll go ahead and sew my. So now I've stitched at one inch. So I'll just come to this curve and make this ease. Always give, you know, cut through this part so it will be easy for you to turn. Okay? But be careful you don't cut out the stitches. So here you can see I left my slit. So I will go ahead and weave the edges. And then I can use my hemming gum for my slits. So this is what the hemming gum looks like. So after weaving it one after the other, I'll place my hemming gum on, on my ironing table and iron it flat to create that slit. I'll do the same this way. Or you can also run a stitch on it, but I love to use hemming gum to make it look neat. Then I'll go ahead and him this part as well so that is how we we'll come to the end of this tutorial so i believe you learned something from this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.